Another broken promise, another padlocked door. We are following Mary and Joseph on the search for housing. A Las Posadas procession drawing parallels between the stories of Mary and Joseph and Chicago families in need of housing. We will be going throughout this uh, community of Lathrop and we will see that there are many, many families that are still waiting for housing and still searching and still not finding what they need. While the phased mixed income redevelopment of the historic Lathrum homes continues on the north side along the Chicago River, south of diversity, nearly a dozen Lathrop buildings still sit vacant. For this group, a symbol of the Chicago Housing Authority's broken promises. Keep your promise. Stop. Stop. These buildings continue to be dilapidated more and more and are going to need even further money. And most importantly, uh, we see that low income, especially low income black and brown families, do not have the housing they need here on the north side of Chicago. Reverend Paula Cripps Vallejo's church is part of the Logan Square Ecumenical Alliance that organized the procession, demanding CHA work with urgency to help displaced families and restore public housing units lost. Citywide, when the agency launched its plan for transformation more than 20 years ago. We want to demand that the city fulfill the promises that CHA stop sitting on the millions and millions and millions of dollars that they have. A spokesperson says CHA is making significant progress at Lathrop. The first phase was finished in 2019. And by the end of this year, in all, almost 500 units split between market rate, affordable and public housing units will be completed with hundreds more planned over the next three years. We need more affordable housing, not market rate. Jose Zayas grew up in the Lathrop homes. I just think in terms of accountability, you know, in terms of our public uh, servants, our mayor, CHA, uh, how can they not know going through different parts of the city and seeing many people living in tents under Vidox? To me, that's shameful. We need to see the action rather than the promises. Gaynor Hall, WGN News.